If you know anything about me, I'm absolutely obsessed with my children. I very, very rarely leave them. Um, I've been a full-time stay-at-home mum. Oh, my God, there they are. Aww. They're so gorgeous. Um, and I hardly ever leave them. So part of this job was, was to go to Morocco for two nights, by the way, not two months, two nights. Mm. And um, it just filled me with fear and anxiety and stress and, like, more than I've ever felt before, so mm. much so that... I got onto the aeroplane, um, burst into tears, had quite a big panic attack, and I got off, got off the aeroplane and thought I wasn't going to go. I did, I got there, I'd done it. Oh. Um, but, yeah, and then I had to come back home, and, and that freaked me out as Was well. But the fear of getting on the plane or just the fear of being separated from your children? I think it was a combination of things, um, because I've never been away from them for two nights, I've never been that far, I don't like flying anyway. I think... I've, I've got a fear of dying, uh, not so much a fear of flying. So it's it's just this worry that if anything happens to me, I'm leaving three children without a mum, um, and it just really it just really hit me as soon as I, mean, I that's stepped onto that anxiety, plane. Classic anxiety, isn't it? Yeah. Did you have anxiety before you had children? Never, never. It was yeah. definitely since having children. You know, we all hear about postnatal depression. We don't really hear about postnatal anxiety. Um, and I do think it's it's something that I've suffered from for four and a half years. And we should also point out, you not your first, you had twins, so you yeah. kind of like got double. Yeah. And also they are autistic, aren't they? Yeah. So they've got extra needs. Yeah. Do you yeah, think that so all factors in as well? Every, yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, first time mum with two, like you said, and then the additional needs, and then we had another baby. So I had three children in three years, um, and I just made it my role to stay at home and, you know, do all the hospital appointments, do every breakfast, every bedtime, and I, I immersed myself in this life and didn't really ever do anything for myself and, and have a minute just to breathe, but that's what I wanted. I always wanted to be a stay-at-home mum. I think what you're describing is, is really normal and will probably relate to, you know, lots and lots of women out there because even I, when yeah, I yeah, had yeah. <clears throat> Zachary... I suffered from postnatal depression um, and really didn't feel know how to love my baby when when he was born. And I hate even saying that out loud because I feel embarrassed oh, even to say that. Um, but I feel that you know postnatal anxiety is something that affects a lot of people. And as soon as I had a child, I start, started questioning my mortality. I started questioning you know every minute that I. It even entered my head. I'd check if my baby was breathing. Yeah. Are they, have they rolled over? Have they been sick? Are they in danger at every point? And I, I don't feel that even... You know, my eldest is 10 now. I still have those worries and thoughts and, and anxieties mm. for, for, for my Well, you're children. looking at the world through somebody else's eyes mm. for the first time, aren't you? When you're yeah. young yourself, you don't even think about your own yeah. mortality. But you know, I think it's really important to talk about this because I think... I, th I mean, postnatal anxiety is actually a thing. Mm. And I think that a lot of us sort of think when we go through anxiety after we've had our babies, we think, well, this isn't postnatal depression, so actually this is just me being ridiculous. And yeah, I thought it was just me. Being yeah, a bit over the but time. there is actually, I mean, there, there is actually a way you can self-diagnose if you say yes, yes to most of these questions, and I yeah. think an awful lot of people would. You know, have you found, found yourself over worrying about your baby being in danger? Have you found yourself imagining your baby coming to harm? I certainly went through that all the time. Yeah. Have you found your concerns over your baby's safety? Uh, uh, safety are affecting your daily life. And, in fact, we did a poll. What was the result? Or did we have the result of the poll asking people that? Somebody just said to me, but I didn't quite get it. Two-thirds of people mm. said, of our viewers, said that they identified with it. I mean, I also think... Uh, I mean, you're saying you didn't have anxiety before, so yours was obviously completely triggered by childbirth. Yeah. But I also think if a lot of people, they've got... You know, anxiety is like water. It sort of finds its way, doesn't yeah. it? And Ooh, you, can an have, you can have anxiety as a teenager about something and then it manifests itself in sort of postnatal symptoms after you've had a baby. Yeah. And, and one thing I do want to say as well, it's not just women, because my husband... I mean, I suppose you can't say it's postnatal because he didn't actually give birth, but he was far more anxious about our daughter than, than I ever was. Um, and I used to think, oh, I can't... I used to have to constantly deal with his anxiety about her safety. Yeah. Exactly all the things, you know, you've just... If she had a sniffle, it would be like, oh, I've got to get her a blood test. And he it could still be even there. has that now, doesn't he? She's, She's 14. 14. She was out yesterday. I'm trying to give her a bit of independence. And he's 
on find a friend on her phone going, <laughs> and he's <laughs> literally following her until she comes. He can't. I can totally that empathize yeah, with that. that though. And you're at home thinking, I, I mustn't tell anyone this because this this is insane. Well, the thing is, obviously, there are so many people, parents you that do are feeling feel, the same. You do feel like you're being completely irrational yes. and you, you are being, I hate to say the word, but crazy. I, I've imagined my children in awful situations. I live it. Like, I can watch yeah. them next to a balcony and I can, I can see it happening. You know, them, yeah. you know something could... I catastrophize, yeah. and I can physically feel the emotion and see, you know, the catastrophe happening in front of me and it's not happening and you do feel like I'm insane and I really need to you know wipe this well, from my yeah, brain. Are you like that at home? I mean do you worry when you're in your own home with your children or is it really just when you're away from your children? Um, both. It's more intense when I'm away. When I'm there, I feel that bit more relaxed and I think, you know, they're with me. I know them inside out, so it's mm. best that they're with me all the time. But I think, you know, as women and as mums, we're all very good at just saying, no, I'm, I'm fine. fine. Yeah. I'm fine. Well, that's why it's really important we talk about this. We've got to keep on talking about yeah. it. Yeah.